Creating and Applying Presets with Photomate. Presets allow you to record editing steps applied to a photo and then apply them to subsequently open photos by creating a macro. And here's how we do that. On the right side of the top toolbar in Photomate, you will find your preset toolbar. The first step in creating a preset is to press the record button. Now, let's open a green screen photo. And let's apply a background. Next, we'll apply an overlay. Now, before we save this preset, let's size our subjects and position them where we want to position subsequent subjects. And we'll go to Tools, Set Subject Placement. By doing this, when we open additional photos, they should be positioned in essentially the same place. Now that we're finished with our preset, we will stop the recording and be presented with a dialog box to save the preset. In this script field, assign a preset number from 1 through 499. Let's assign preset number 5. And we'll save it. Now let's reopen the same photo. There are two ways to apply a preset. If the preset number is 1 through 5, you can use the Quick Selection button on the top toolbar. In our example, we created preset 5, so we will go ahead and select number 5 on the toolbar. As you can see, the background and the overlay are added automatically, and the subjects are placed in approximately the same position. That's how you create a preset. Now, there are many other parameters that you can specify in a preset, Please consult the help file for full documentation. A typical corporate event might utilize from three to five templates, and that's the reason that we have the first five available as shortcuts on the top toolbar. Now, how do we apply presets beyond number five? The answer is to use the Alt key plus the preset number on the keyboard. For instance, for preset number 325, we would hold down the Alt key and type 325. So as you can see, it's very easy to create and apply backgrounds, overlays, and other actions using presets.